one of the main positions in any kind of newscast or live video production is going to be the switcher. This one happens to be a Ross Carbonite switcher. I tell my students not necessarily to get caught up on the name because they might go somewhere else and it could be another brand, but they all similarly work the same. You have buttons we can push to show different things. We have a preview and program monitor what the studio is getting ready to show everyone at home. Or if it's at a concert, work the same way. Fun fact, I'm not sure if you have any Star Wars fans, but if you remember the Death Star, and when everybody starts punching buttons, they're working on a production switcher just like this one. This is our audio board for live production. This one happens to be a Midas. They all tend to work the same. We have pots, they go up when a person's speaking or when video's playing. They do have to listen to what the director's seeing because when the anchors are speaking, the mics need to be up. When the video's playing, you always need to bring down the pots or hit the mute button because in this business, there's no such thing as a dead mic. All mics are hot and I'm sure everyone has seen or heard someone say something that they shouldn't have said and they heard it because the mic was live. This is the program Rundown Creator that our students use to time out their show, list all the character generation that needs to be made when the show is running live. And also this program is our teleprompter. So this is our video playback station. Students will come in they will bring their video into Premiere Pro. And once they have it in Premiere Pro, we play that back here, which will actually play back on the screen and there. In all live production in the studio, they have over the shoulder shots of the anchors. The students will go into Premiere Pro and take a still image of their story, bring it over to this machine. Once the story behind or the anchors have read the story, they go to the next. So once it shows up here, and right now this is our um, Chattahoochee Tech logo. So then we have another show or another still frame here. And we would just follow it as the show progresses. So this is a Ross expression. This is our graphics for the live production. And someone would sit here and type in all these names all the way down through the whole show. And if it was a live production for a sports program, be it at Mercedes-Benz or State Farm Arena, the person creating the graphics and making sure that it's what it should be has to be very intuitive because they need to know when to bring things in and out. So if you look at the screen, when I click on tape, that pops up and this is known as lower thirds. So lower thirds is what we would be using to identify the person speaking on camera. This is the controller with a joystick for a Vinton robotic pedestal. Every station, every TV station, CNN, will use something like this. So one person can sit here and move the camera forward, move the camera backwards, left and right. So they don't have to really rely on someone on the pedestal in there moving the camera. This person here, the director, is the conductor of the orchestra. They call all the shots. They make sure that we are timing exactly the way it should be. When the show starts, they hit the button and it starts to count down. They're responsible for back timing. Back timing meaning how much time do we have left in the show? Do, do the anchors have to talk or banter because we're too light or do we have too much and we have to cut? They call for the shots. They make sure the shots are in focus. The audio's up and the audio's down when it's supposed to be. So it's a very intense position even though there aren't any fancy buttons to be in, that are in front of them. These are remotes for our cameras that are out in the studio. A person sitting here is responsible for what's called camera shading. We can white balance from here. We can adjust our master pedestal from here or master black. Someone would sit here and make sure the cameras aren't too bright and not too dark, oversaturated. They're not green, blue, or red. They're the perfect color for the show during that time. This is our lighting board. It is a uh, two channel, X and Y. We work with ones and zeros or it's called DMX. The DMX is controlled really by this one cable. And to turn the lights on, we have to use the fader bar here and the fader bar here. And then they come on in the studio. These are our studio cameras. 
They're 4K cameras, and these happen to be Hitachis. The main thing that the students need to learn on this particular camera, or any camera really, when they're doing live production, is how to zoom in and set your focus. We have two controls, uh, zoom on the right, mainly on cameras like this, and the focus on the left. That's the most important thing to, to understand about using a studio camera. For additional information, please go to our website. Thank you for taking the tour with us. I look forward to seeing you on campus.